Welcome back. In this video, we're going to use the arrow dump command to focus on a target access point, scan only this access point and have it fixed on a channel, and also store the data that we can listen to on that access point to a file. Let's get to it. So in order to start looking for the access points around us, we're going to type arrow dump dash ng WLAN 0 mon, which is the wireless access point that is in monitor mode. As you can see, the arrow dump command started displaying to us the uh, access points around us. And on the top left corner, you can see the channel changing, which is channel hopping. It is scanning multiple channels in order to display all possible or all available access points around us. I now want to focus on the BJ's guest Wi-Fi network here. I want to only scan this one and it's on channel 11. So I will copy this part and press Control C and go back to my command and add dash dash bsid and paste the channel's name dash c11 for channel 11 but it really didn't work well because of the spaces in the ssid uh, name so instead of focusing on it using essid i'm gonna use the mac address which is the bssid so i'm gonna copy that from here and paste it in the command and add dash C11 to focus only on channel 11. And you can see now that the AeroDump Aero terminal is only showing us this access point. So we're focused only on that access point. The channel is fixed on channel 11. So this ensures that we don't miss any packets that get sent out on that network. If I want to save the data that's being sent on that channel and that network, then we can simply add the dash W argument to the command and give it some name. And that's going to save this data in a file that has this name. It's going to be a PCAP file and all the data that the card can read are going to be available in this file. As you can see here, the data is going up slowly and we are still fixed on channel 11. We are only looking at the BSSID that is displayed in front of us. And as the data grows or goes up, all this data is being saved to the file name that I wrote in the command. The number of packets under the data column is going to keep growing as long as there are people joining the network or having more traffic on the network. To stop this process at any point, we can simply click Control C. It will take us back to the terminal where we can type LS and we can find the files that were stored as part of our scan. If you open up the cap file, this will include all the packets that were captured during the scan. 